Hey, I'm Medical Medics, and this is Challenge Me on SilverbackMagazine.com. I'm outside All Stars, and I'm about to go and meet Leslie Saki, the former UK and European women's champion. All I can say is, it's going to be a great challenge for me. Going to go in there and learn how to box. All Stars cheer. Hello, welcome to All Stars Boxing Day. All right, it's great. Okay, let's, yeah. go let's go. Let's go. We're in the All Stars gym. If you look behind me, you can see Leslie Saki the former UK and European women's champion. I'm gonna be challenging her today, at what point she's gonna be challenging me. She's working out the bag, but I think I'll go in with a good chance. Let's go and talk to her. All right, Leslie, so I'm gonna be challenging you today, and um, I just need to know a few of the basics so I can, you know, defend myself in the ring. Uh, so, uh, you're gonna teach me how to box? You're gonna to have to get them gloves on first before we do anything. You might wanna uh, cover up your hands. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, you know. Cover that's very hands. delicate, yeah? Yeah. All right, Leslie, so I've got my gloves on. So what do I need to know then? Uh, first of all, you need to get in the boxing stance. So that's your, well, I'm a southpaw, so I'm going to have my right foot forward. But if you're okay. right-handed, you're yep. going to have your left foot forward, right, left foot your forward. right foot back, on, right your foot back, back. Of, on your back foot, so it's always up. So you've got the, the movement. Okay, I've got the okay. movement. Okay, yeah, that's it. Then you're yep. going to keep your hands up keep like this. Up. And your jab will be this hand. I'll be jumping with my right hand. Yeah, with your, with sorry, my hand. bad, your left hand. Yeah, right, yeah. Left, right, confusion. Right, so left hand, and you're going to extend your arm like that yeah. and bring it back to your chin. Like here, yeah? Yep, but okay. you're going to rotate. So a lot of people think that boxing is all about arm power, but it okay. actually comes from the hips and the movement and rotation. Okay, like yeah, salsa? Not, yeah, yeah, not quite like that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, okay. okay. So, so your arms are up, your hands are up, and the movement comes from your hips and the my power hip. comes from your hips. Yeah. Not that type of movement exactly, not this kind of... Oh, right, yeah, sorry, Not sorry, in a sorry. dance and stuff. Right. Yeah. Okay, so, like that? Yeah, ca yeah kind of. Yeah. yeah, that's it, better. Good, that's it. Okay. Good. So, what uh, first got you started to, you know, become a boxer? I decided to get into boxing for, for just to get fit, really. I didn't like the idea of going to the gym, um, and I thought this would be an interesting way to get fit, and then I just caught the bug, really, to be honest. Okay, so you want to bring in what they call the backhand or the cross, which would be well, that, that hand. Whoosh. No, that's, oh, right, okay. that's a, that's a, that's a mum backhand. <laughs> no, this is the cross. Uh, the cross, so, okay. Which is basically the backhand, which is this. This is your power punch. So again, it's all about the rotation and the power yeah. comes straight from your from hips. hips. So you're rotating back and bang. So you're, that's it. Oh, so okay. really, you need to take my arm off when I'm holding this back. Take your arm off? Yeah, well, literally. Sounds a bit yeah. like... Yeah, not literally surgical. take it off, but oh, like, right, I, need to, like, feel, I need to feel the back going back to you. Let's see how oh, strong okay. you are. <sighs> pressure. This pressure. <laughs> nah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> all right. Come okay, on. okay. All right. All right. Well, I think I need a bit more practice on that. Yeah, so I, I got some stuff to work on. But you've got the basics. You're doing well. You're doing well. Okay. So I mean, you're the former UK and European champion. That's right. So I mean, that's a long progression from taking up boxing to actually winning a title. I mean, how hard was it for you to win each of those titles? I think there were there were m more opportunities for me, being the fact that female boxing is was quite new. It's you know it's probably 10, 10 to fifteen years old as opposed to the rest of Europe, which is like twenty years and us. But um, that's not to say that for every fight that I had to to enter and compete for, I had to work and train really hard. So I just think I was prepared to sacrifice and put my head down and work hard and get the results. You were on the, the last woman standing. Yeah. Uh, you got second place. I yeah. saw some of the people, you know, that you were fighting, some of the women there, they've, you know, I mean, easy. they didn't even wear clothes. That's how on it they were. <laughs> fighting, you know? I know, it just, it was a completely different world, to be honest, but an amazing experience. I learned so much about myself, my character, and do you know how fit I really am? Because, I, you know, obviously boxing was the only sport I'd done. I wasn't interested in sports at school. I think the most I'd do was netball. netball. Anything else was... That's a that's a big change, boxing to netball. Well, I wasn't, you know, I, I wasn't interested. Whenever it was PE, I was the one that always had the no or athletics day. Oh. I didn't, like, it just didn't, I wasn't a sporty kid. So um, for me to even think I would be fit enough to, to try for a show like Last Woman Standing, 
that's what boxing gave me, um, the confidence to feel like I was fit enough and actually be fit enough to, to do something as grueling and challenging as that. Definitely. I mean, how difficult was that woman? The woman that she was quite big. She's like really... called her the Terminator. Yeah, that's what we called massive, her. Yeah. Yeah. She was. It was. I think it was uh, not so much difficult. I think it was just you know all week I'd been doing really well and they hadn't brought that was like the best Amazonian wrestler in the in the region. So right. She was the best of the best, and they kind of pulled out the big guns on the final day. Because I, I didn't think it was fair. I think it was kind of cheating. I mean, it was why would slightly, they... Well, you know, it's, it's what we call respect. Yeah, it's what we call tribal rules. So, in the one hand, I take comfort in the fact that I'd everyone before her I'd beaten. So, yeah. and they were all in the finals. So, you know, on the other hand, it just wasn't meant to be. So, I mean, I think I've got the jabs down. I, I think, think yeah. I've got the crust down. All right, do you want okay. to try some uppercuts? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm ready for some uppercuts. Okay, How, right. What do I do? An uppercut is basically a very devastating punch, and it can just literally lift someone off their feet. Okay. So it's about aiming for the chin and kind of using your knees. Again, it's all about the legs and the hips, okay. and you're kind of rotating, but you're bringing, you're bringing this punch up to connect there. Okay. So it's not kind of a lot of people punch up like that, yeah. but you're, it's that, it goes with the knees. So you're also bringing your arm down as you're going down so that okay. you're covered. Yeah. And then you're bringing your arm up and releasing. And if you connect, you'll know about it. Okay. So let's have a go in the bag. So, so really you're kind of digging it in. So you want to dig it right in. Like that. That's it. But kind of bring it up a little bit more. That's like it. That. Yeah. Okay, bring up the punch a little bit more. Like so that. yeah, that's it. Bringing your knees up. Good. That's it, yeah. Good. Like that? Yeah, that's it. Now you can do one, two of those. So you can do this left, right, upper cut. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So it's left, right. Like yeah, that. and then you can also just try it with the... Whoa, steady on there. <laughs> <laughs> Getting carried away. Obviously, to uh, go into Last Woman Standing, yeah. you had to give up your two titles. No, they're not necessarily two titles. Like I well, won them in 2007, 8 8 and okay. the European uh, Union Championships was 2008. So it's not like I forfeited them. That's right. why I won in that year, and you know I'd have the chance to to win the title for 2009, the right. following year. Okay. But I forfeited that to do Last Woman Standing. Right. Okay. So I mean, when it comes to turning pro, have you considered that? Is it something you're interested in? Uh, to be honest, not really. I think now that uh, female boxing is in the Olympics, I think it's a really exciting time for amateur female boxing, and we're going to see a lot more of female amateur boxing. I predict. Right. So it's going to be quite an exciting time. So now, for me personally, wouldn't be the time to turn pro. And right. I don't think it really appeals to me. I think I, I like the fact that it's amateur and I'm achieving what I'm achieving in amateur. But to be fair, I don't think there's that much appeal for me right now. So I think I'm ready to, you know, go into the ring now. Do you think I'm ready? A few rounds? I don't know. We'll just have to see. We'll know when you step in the ring. Okay, then. <laughs> Take these with me now. I will, of course. <laughs> So uh, there we did it, did the challenge. So uh, how do you think I did? I think you've done really good. I think it was a good first attempt. I think uh, you got stuck in, you weren't afraid to have a go. Uh, one piece of advice I would give you is to try and keep your head up. Okay. I noticed that yeah. when you were punching, you were kind of down and I was a bit yeah. wary of hitting you because you couldn't see. Right. If, obviously if it was in a fight and the person yeah. was doing that, I, I would just go on ahead. But obviously I'm yeah. 
you know, you're trying to learn and stuff. But I think, yeah, you kind of got to put your head down and threw punches, which I think was great. You weren't scared to have a go in that. And it can be quite a daunting situation. Um, yeah, I, I think I did magnificent, personally. I think, I think, I think you were a bit well, slow, though. We'll make our hands now. <laughs> <laughs> watch out, world. <laughs> David, hey, welcome back. <laughs> Come back for a rematch. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely hold you to that. Yeah? Yeah, I think I can maybe go to round three this time. We'll see. Mm, yeah, I think we will. So uh, that was Silverback Magazine, uh, Challenge Me. And of course, we'll most definitely be catching up. I'm going to hold you to that, you know. Most mm. definitely. Definitely, definitely going to hold you to that. And uh, one more thing. Make sure you check out the website, www.silverbackmagazine.com. Uh, you can find this section in the Lads Lounge. And let's look around the sides, all around this box around here, and look at all the different articles. Oh, and well, follow me on Twitter, Leslie the Boxer. Or Facebook, yeah. Leslie the Boxer.